joyful news was announced at the beginning of February last year. Pinocchio and Chaska, the Salisbury Zoo's two endangered Andean bears, had become parents. Two years before, Pinocchio arrived at the zoo from Ecuador with the hope he would mate with Chaska. Now, the cub, which was named Cinchy, was born January 11th of 2020, and it was a big deal, especially for the Andean bear species, but now, well, it's time for Cinchy to strike out on his own. With us this afternoon, Cinchy's keepers, uh, this is Jessica O'Neill and Caleb Oliver. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Hi. Lisa and I both as parents want to know, why does Cinchy have to go now? <laughs> So uh, Chaska, his mom, said, you're old enough and it's time for you to go out on your own. And she actually pushed him away. Oh. So that's when we knew it was time to separate them. Aw, so they've been separated for a little while, haven't they? A little over a week now. By nature, they're very solitary outside of breeding and rearing their young. So when they get to about a year or two old, the mothers tend to kind of push them off so that they can, they, they've learned everything they need to know and it's time for them to be their own bears. So, I mean, they're, they're still in the same zoo, uh, even though they're separated. Do you think Chaska's going to know when Sinchi is actually gone? Um, at, at this point, she, she doesn't want him around. So she is kind of ignoring him, uh, and uh, it, she doesn't really care if he's here or not. Oh. oh, okay. All right. So what happens now? Well, we're currently waiting on recommendations from their breeding program. Um, there's a chance that Ch uh, Chaska and Pinocchio will have more cubs in the future, um, but when that will be is dependent on a lot of different factors. So we're just getting prepared to move uh, Sinchi up to our animal hospital so he can have a couple little uh, checkups and tests before his move to Philadelphia Zoo. And um, we're just doing everything to make sure that goes as smoothly as possible at this point. And You've gotta be every bit as much parents to Cinchi. How is, how is this gonna make you feel? It's really, really bittersweet. So, I mean, because he gets to go to a new zoo, it, we did everything right, everything was super successful. Um, but yeah, we, we've been with him from the start, so we love him so much, and we're really excited for him to go out on his own and be an adult there, but we're definitely going to miss him so much. Now, this is actually a good thing as far as the Andean bear population, because Sinchi, you're hoping, will also become a parent? Yeah, in the future. Um, they don't reach sexual maturity until about four years old. So he'll be on his own for a while, um, and then hopefully he'll get placed with a female and continue those new genetics into the captive population. So, so where do you go from here? Are, are you going to try to come up with another cub? I mean, is the family continue? What what happens here? There's only so many zoos that can hold Andean bears, so um, we have to talk to the captive breeding program and see if there's going to be space for another cub in the future. So. Ideally, we would want one, but it might not be this year. It might not be next year. Now, uh, obviously, as we mentioned, since she was born last January, we found out about him in February, and then everything shut down. We didn't get to really watch him grow in person. Are we going to have an opportunity to come and say goodbye? Um, he'll, he'll be um, visible to the public tomorrow. Okay. Um, but then after tomorrow, he's going to be spending a little bit of time in our hospital just so that we can have a controlled environment to get some accurate tests, make sure he's healthy, have a little doctor checkup uh, with our veterinarian. And then sometime in the next week or two, probably going to be making the move. Okay, so, so actually making the move, uh, buy a bus ticket, what do you do? <laughs> um, it's actually going to be a lot, lot more like that by comparison to how Pinocchio got up here than, than you would imagine. Um, it is, it, it's mostly going to be, because it's so close, it's going to be a van ride. Um, so we'll have a couple of keepers, possibly veterinarian from their end, come down. And then we're hoping to both, you know, accompany them or possibly be in another vehicle um, and, and just, just head up there. He's, he's partially crate trained now. So, um, you know, we're hoping that uh, that whole part of it goes smoothly. It can be a little bit stressful for them, but yeah. it's actually as, as ideal as it possibly could be being that it's only a three hour drive. It's going to be a minimal amount of time for him to be 
in that transport crate. Well, hopefully we'll be able to keep uh, updated on how Cinchy is doing up in Philadelphia because, you know, he's ours. He's <laughs> ours, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's really nice in the zoo community. Um, we get to talk to the keepers and Caleb still gets updates about Tosca's first pub, Alba. Um, so it's a really nice communication and we'll hear from the keepers. Um, I'm sure we'll both go up and visit them at some point. So yeah, we'll definitely get to hear all about them. That's wonderful. Jessica O'Neill and Caleb Oliver, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And uh, I, I will tell you to give Cinchy a big bear hug, but that's probably oh, not a good idea. Goodness. <laughs> Stick around. Tomorrow, life will be right back. <laughs>